One of my biggest pet peeves is that folks that use their legal names to brand themselves, even though they don't use their legal names in their daily life. Today on Zippy Point. Quick Zips by Zippy Point. Quick and dirty. I'm Brock Romanek. I'm a big fan of yous. If you pay attention, you'll find that a surprisingly high percentage of people that you know don't use the legal names as their name that they like to be called, the name that they use, they use to introduce themselves. The percentage is so high that perhaps our parents shouldn't be tasked with naming us at birth. Maybe that job should be handed over to a computer who randomly spits out a name or perhaps assesses our genome and blesses us with a name that seems to match our DNA. Anyways, I would hazard to guess that perhaps as high as a third of the population uses a nickname. Um, I'm one of those people, my wife, more than half of my college friends, and I'm not talking about nicknames like Pocky or <laughs> Conan or something like that. So coming in that third, my legal name is Barak, B-A-R-A-K. It's My parents picked it out of a baby book. It means lightning in Hebrew. <laughs> and that's not even why they picked the name. I didn't find out about the Hebrew definition until I was about 10. You know, I'm not, I'm not Jewish. They just picked it out because it looked unusual and it, you know, it, it was unusual and looked cool. And little did I know that many years later, there would be a president with a very similar name. Uh, Obama spells his name with a C in there, B-A-R-A-C-K. So I should have kept Barack to begin with, I guess. So as soon as I got out of the house, when I got to college, I decided to go by Brock, B-R-O-C, one syllable, which is key for me, and yet still unusual, rather than Barack. I was so tired of people botching my name, calling me Barrick, <laughs> all kinds, Baruch, all kinds of things. Actually, I actually have a nephew named whose name is Baruch. And, and when people mispronounce your name, it's a blow. It's a blow to your heart. It reduces your power. <laughs> our names instinctively pump us up. That's why smart salespeople sprinkle the dropping of our name in when they're engaging us in conversation. They're making us feel important, making us like them. So let me now turn to the legal profession. One of the worst habits that some lawyers seem to have is that they use their middle initials in their online prof profile as part of their firm bios for their bar lines when they write something. Are they being forced to do this by their law firm? Maybe in some cases, but not all. But to me, this is just a vestige of the 1950s where white collar workers took pains to make themselves look superior. It, it's sort of a white man's thing if you pay attention to it. And I just absolutely despise it. And I can't be alone. Maybe your firm insists on it, but please push back. It really is the worst. Three, coming off as a snob. So I decided to Google why people are using their middle initials and then apparently there are studies that indicate that it makes people appear smarter. I don't buy that, but whatever. A similar study is noted in this New York Times piece found that if people want to appear knowledgeable and well in performing, then middle initials help. If they want to appear interpersonal and warm or athletic, then middle, middle initials don't work. So there you go. Would you want to hire someone that appears knowledgeable or warm? Personally, I would hire warm if it's a relationship for the long haul, but maybe I'm in the minority here. But I'm sticking to my gun. It's not just about middle initials. It's about, again, using the name you use in daily life rather than, than William. You know, if you go by Bill, don't put William up in your profile. Elizabeth, Liz, I mean, there's countless examples. Two, causing embarrassment for others. So a potential client might approach you at a conference and real excited to meet you and greet you as William because that's how you're branded. That's how it's been listed on your site and your writings. And then your my name tag might even say that because that's how you registered for the event because it was on your credit card that way. But when you correct them, you're gonna lose that important early momentum towards determining whether y'all are a good fit. You know, they're gonna feel embarrassed and it creates unnecessary confusion. And then the number one reason, search terms, SEO. So that's the number one reason. People wanna hire you, but they can't find you. They're Googling. Bill Swanson, but they're not coming up with your firm bio. They're not coming with your LinkedIn profile because you're listed there as William T. Swanson III. <laughs> no bueno. Ah, and I avoided telling you my Harvey Charles story. <laughs> Perhaps some other time.